Hi, thanks for tuning in to Acting Career Expert Studios. My name is Dan Warner. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a subject that is very, very common amongst maybe every actor ever since the dawn of time, and that is acting anxiety um, and acting, you know, that goes along with acting doubt. It goes along with doubting yourself. And I would say that, I would say quite possibly with all confidence that 100% of the actors have had some sort of doubt or anxiety at some point in their career. Uh, actors who haven't even done much acting have had anxiety about this. Uh, new actors that are just starting out, they have anxiety uh, about telling their parents or their loved ones or their family uh, about uh, the fact that they want to be an actor. Uh, you know, we just had Thanksgiving. I did a video about Thanksgiving uh, a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, there's a lot of anxiety surrounding the holidays and we have Christmas coming up. So uh, I'm going to address some of these fears and uh, hopefully give you some answers and give you some workarounds um, about having acting, anxi acting anxiety. Um, let's start out with, I, I'd lo I love this story because it's... Uh, you know, it's, it goes right along with what we're talking about, and that is uh, Kevin Bacon. Uh, most of you know who Kevin Bacon is. If you don't, go to IMDb and type in Kevin Bacon or Google Kevin Bacon, and you'll go, oh, yeah, that guy. So Kevin Bacon has been in, I don't know, a thousand things, and he was interviewed. I don't know if it was on Charlie Rose or Inside the Actor's Studio, but one of those, and he was asked about... Um, you know, his confidence level. And he said, and this is a guy who works all the time for years, decades he's worked. Um, he said, after every project, after every single project, he gets anxiety and he's afraid that the phone is never going to ring again. Kevin Bacon, maybe the phone's never going to ring again. Well, Kevin, it's going to ring until you don't want it to ring anymore because you're a fantastic actor and you've been in a thousand things. And anyway, Kevin Bacon had admitted to having uh, actor's anxiety. Um, you know, Tom Petty had a really great lyric uh, in one of his songs, and it said, most things I worry about never happen anyway. And that is absolutely true. Most things you worry about never happen. And the fact that uh, actors have this anxiety about, uh, God, have I missed all my shots? Have I, do I not, am I not talented enough? You know, I, I don't even have an agent uh, or uh, I told somebody and they laughed at me that I wanted to be an actor. And so uh, everyone has this sort of cross to bear. You know, everyone has this sort of heavy weight on their chest about, uh, about acting. Um, you know, th the question is, if, you if, if, you, if, if all you could do was act, um, and you had plenty of money, but you had to act, but you had to do it for free, but you had money, would you act for free? If you've ever been in a class, if you've ever uh, been on a set, if you've ever done a project, you know that feeling, the feeling at the end of the day when you walk off the set and it was just the, maybe the best day of the year for you. I've said this so many times, I can't even tell you. I walk off the set and I go, you know what? I would do this for free <laughs> because it's just so fun and such a fantastic uh, career choice for me. Uh, and if it is for you and you, you feel that way, and if you would do it for free, just remember that you would do it for free, and that will alleviate a, a ton of anxiety. So that's number one. Okay, so the other one is don't define your worth or your value by the projects that you've, that you've not gotten, or even the ones that you've gotten, uh, or the auditions that you didn't get, or the callback that you didn't get, or even uh, you got the callback and then you never heard again. Uh, you were put on a veil and then you never heard again. Uh, you never heard from them again. So, um, you know, don't define your value by that. 
uh, spend your time being around like-minded individuals uh, the, with the same goals and the same dreams and plans that you have. Other actors, um, join a Facebook group. I have a Facebook group. Um, I'll put it down in the description down there. If you guys want to join my Facebook group, you may. And, uh, it, you know, surround yourself with supportive, like-minded people. And what will happen is projects will come up. People will want to do short films. Here's another thing. Um, do short films. Do, do projects with your friends. Uh, find other actors who need to do a project or want to do a project or write something yourself and be creative. And, and you'll find that once you're starting to do your own thing and, and do your own projects, that anxiety will melt away. Uh, you'll feel like you're doing something. Um, get new headshots. That'll make you feel like you're doing something. You know, go on to Actors Access and, um, and post new headshots. Um, do projects with your friends. You know, there's a lot of things to do that you can do. Uh, take a class, take a workshop. Um, do anything you can do to move your ball forward, to, to feel like you are, you know, doing something uh, positive uh, for your career. Um, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're being proactive uh, about your career. You have to be proactive and, and the anxiety will go away. Once you're starting to be proactive, it's when we, it's when we sit and think and get inside our heads, that's where the problem lies. Um, if you're active, if you're doing something, if you've got an idea about doing something, then your mind is active and your anxiety goes the other way. When you're inactive, when you're sitting around going, well, I haven't had an audition in a really long time. Uh, yeah, I don't, man, the last audition I had, I, I, I really sucked and I didn't get a call back and I haven't had another audition for a month. Maybe the casting directors are calling around and telling everyone how horrible I am. No, 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 none of those things are happening. Most things I worry about never happen anyway. Those aren't happening. When you're active and you're busy and you're thinking of projects and you're writing and you're doing all these things and you're involved in a Facebook group, you're doing stuff. You're being proactive with your career and your anxiety uh, will go away. So just think about what you love about acting. Um, go to your... Uh, um, Go to your wins bucket, and uh, I talked about a wins bucket before, and that is um, you take a jar or a bucket or, or any sort of container, and you write, I wrote wins on mine. And anytime anything good happens, and this has saved me a ton of times, because um, I've had the same thing that you've had, if you've had this, if you're watching, you've had this. Uh, the, the fact that you think oh, I, my career is over, I'm not working or something's going wrong or I'm not, you know, I'm, maybe I'm not good enough anymore or whatever the case may be. So I would write down, had an audition and it, I mean, it really went great. Now, whether your audition, uh, whether you got chosen off of your audition or got a call back or not, if you did really great, watch my other video of, of, of 10 reasons why you didn't get the job and none of them have anything to do with you. So you could have been the best one there, but they needed someone with black curly hair uh, and they needed, you have to be 5'4". Well, I, I can't be 5'4 with black curly hair. I, I can't. And so uh, I had a great read, but they decided they wanted a short guy with black curly hair. Uh, they wanted a guy with more hair, less hair, bald, fat, short, skinny, prettier, not pretty enough, whatever the case may be. So if you had this great audition and you didn't get a call back, uh, write it down and put it in your wins jar. Um, if you had a call back, write that down. If you got headshots done, anything good or positive that made you feel good that day, that moved your ball forward, put write that shit down and put it, put the date down and put it in your wins bucket. And whenever you're starting to get anxiety, first of all, it means you're sitting around and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. But if you're sitting around and you're feeling sorry for yourself, take that wins bucket and dump that out on the table and spread all that out and go, oh, look at all the really great stuff I did this year. Now we're screaming up on December or by the time this is posted, it'll be December. Um, it's December, man, it's been 12 months. Your, your win bucket would be, I mean, even if you had 10 things, 
it's gonna make you feel better. It's gonna take that, that anxiety and, and it's just gonna go, it's gonna push away. You're gonna go, look at all the cool stuff that happened to me this year. Um, that's it, man. Be active, look at your wins, write stuff down, keep a journal, and uh, like and share this video with everybody. If you've got questions or comments about any of this stuff, put them in the questions and comments bin, bucket, uh, list, place, you know, down there. Um, go to danwarnermedia.com. I've got tons of videos giving you tips and tricks and tutorials and all kinds of stuff. I do private coaching. If you need private coaching, if you need me to get on Zoom and slap you around so you don't have anxiety anymore, <laughs> I'm happy to do that for a fee. I have coaching, private coaching also. If you need um, a letter, uh, an introduction letter to an agent because you don't have an agent, I have a fantastic introduction letter to an agent uh, that was written by an agent and myself. He's been in the business over 40 years and he's gotten over 400 people into the Screen Actors Guild. You've heard all this before, so uh, just go do the right things, go be proactive, and I will see you next week on another episode of All in the Family. Pretty good, All in the Family. All right, Archie, right, is it Archie, Edith? Have I done All in the Family? I don't know, if I've done All in the Family, leave it in the comments section below. Yeah. Mm -hmm.